Hi everybody, Tammy here, and I wanted to do a quick video on the step-by-step -step process for creating links for a Google Meet in Google Classroom. So um, I know it can seem a little confusing, but this is what we're trying to prevent. We're trying to prevent students from getting on the Meet without a teacher. So um, when they have those links, it is a place to hang out. So um, we want to um, keep it secure and we don't want them to be on it without us most of the time. So um, this is the process. So right now I'm in this Google Classroom and here is the Meet link that I'm going to be um, using here in just a little while. So my Meet's about to start. So about 10 minutes beforehand, I'm going to get on the link. And notice right now it is not visible to students. That's what the eyeball with the line through it because that's my view, um, that's the teacher view. So right now it's not visible to the student. So I'm going to get in first. It's important that teachers are first in and last out. The reason why we want to be first in is because it gives you moderator privileges like being able to mute students or being able to remove students and being able to record. If for some reason you are not the first one in the meet and a student is, then they have all those powers and we don't want that to happen. So you need to be first in or last down, and especially if you're on a device with spotty Wi-Fi and you happen to be in your meet and you were first in, but you get dropped and you have to come back in, then you're not first in anymore. So please make sure that you are joining or launching the meet from a device that has very stable Wi-Fi. All right, so I'm going to click and get into this meet first. So this is about 10 minutes out from my the beginning of my meet and I get in it first, and then I go back to my classroom and go to the settings. See, I'm in the meet right here, so I've already launched it, so I'm already first in, and then I'm gonna to toggle visible to students, and make sure you hit save, and now it's going to be visible, so you can see right here, that's where the kids are gonna click on, and they're going to join you in the meet that you've already started, so you're gonna be first. All right, so you have your meet, I mean, you should have the option to record. Um, and so you say, bye, okay, have a good day, everybody. And you make sure you're the last one out. Last one, nobody left. And then I'm gonna hang up. You need to leave the meet. And then I'm gonna go immediately back to the classroom, back to settings, back to the meet settings. I'm going to reset the link. Sorry, reset. And then I'm going to toggle it invisible until the next day, until the next time we meet. Um, so now I have a new meet link. I'm going to hit save. Always hit save. So I have a new meet link and it's not visible to the kids. And the old link is dead. And so if the kids tried to do a copy and paste and they try to get back on there or they were they had hung up and it still had the page for them to be able to rejoin the session, they tried to rejoin, it would block them, it would be dead. So you really need to do that reset right after the meet. So you do it all at once. And then you're you're set for the next day for the same process. Um, so that's the process. I know it's a little confusing, but if you think about how we just don't want them to have access to links without us, then it kind of helps us understand. So let me know if you have any questions and I hope that helps us all be safe and secure.